Hello, this is Jeff at Obedia, and today I want to show you guys something pretty cool. It's the bounce in place feature added into Reason 9. And so what this allows you to do is you can create a patch, create your MIDI, have it play back, but then you can bounce that as audio, allowing you to free up space and also work with the material in audio form, such as if you want to create a sound and then reverse it, for example. Of course, we can't reverse that signal through MIDI unless using the instrument. Therefore, we have to render it to audio first. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean by this. I'm going to go to a rack extension. And let's dial up Parsec and let's get a pad. Nice pad sound. Dial up my on-screen keyboard and now begin to play. So this is what we're working with, the Parsec. Nice, big, fat sound, right? Okay, so let's play and record. That sounds awesome. But what if I want to take this into the audio realm? Right click and select bounce in place. And so bounce in place is going to take that MIDI information. And as you see, it mutes my MIDI clip. And now it is audio. From here, we get the same thing. Okay. And if we ever need to go back to the MIDI, we can always mute, click on the clip, press M or right click and select mute and unmute clips. And we are back where we started. Make further tweaks and bounce in place. So a strategy I like to do with Reason to help with the CPU optimization is work on different sounds per session for Reason. So if I'm working on a Parsec piece, I may work on Parsec and maybe two or three other sounds. And then I can bounce and place that information Use that audio for another session. That way, in this one, I can save the instruments. And in the next one, I can remove the instruments. And I'm just working with audio at that point. So now that we have this, I can affect this in the audio domain. In other words, I could quantize this information. by right clicking and clicking on quantize. So as you see, this is gonna quantize my information depending on where my locators are. So if you simply double click into your audio waveform, you will get this menu. And if I quantize according to the quantize setting down here, you will see these shift. I can also reverse this audio information by right clicking and selecting reverse. So now we have this. Pretty cool. Then we can take this. Let's duplicate this by pressing command D. And in the original one, let's reverse this back like this. So you can get really creative once you take the instrument out of the MIDI domain and put it into the audio domain. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. 
Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.